Oh, hey, look at the old oh, shit. We're live again. <laughs> and welcome, America, to the Eric and Rodney Show with Robin. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Hello. Brought to you by Offensively Creative and Dinsmore Steel. I'm America's sweetheart, Eric Ryan. I own Offensively Creative. That's Rodney Steel. He is Rod, the PEO god, and he owns Dinsmore Steel. We have the thriller from Manila representing Valare, the world's greatest email service in the world. Yes. Ever. Ever. In the world. Robin. Robin, and now uh, we're supposed to have our normal Wednesday guest. Perhaps he overslept. Who knows? Oh, wait, he's here. Wait, Paul is making it dramatic. I mean, can I tell you, Paul, Paul likes to be fashionably early. Yeah, and he looks like he's this outside. This is early for him. So this is going to be I, exciting. Oh, okay. there he is. There's Paul. Guys, this is Westchester, Pennsylvania. Uh-huh. No, let's out of the streets. Yeah. Are you reporting you live? I'm, I'm reporting live from Westchester, Pennsylvania this morning, where we Hi. caught a convict about two weeks ago <laughs> and uh we're still talking about it is everyone streets on the street nice is he loose is he he's not loose now is he? you've got him you've got him in he, he's not control. loose uh the streets are calm for the moment but at, you know at this everyone, point you're looking around everywhere it looks like you're on the run yeah. i'm uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm actually I, i'm actually the convict i didn't tell you guys that I'll tell you this: whatever headphones you're using are incredible. There's no wind. Yeah, what, what's really, going what, what, on? What, what, what are making those iPods, AirPods. Oh, these are actually um, there's a brand. Oh, what the hell is the brand? Good brand. It's the Soundcore P3i. Oh. Really I, good. Now that I've said that, I'm hearing a little wind resistance. But they're other than that, they're really good. That's Paul's breathing. No, okay. Oh, you're. <laughs> yeah. you're what do you want for a fucking jog? What's happening now? <laughs> well, I, I'm trying to be fast. You know, yeah. Paul's finishing out the last leg of, so, the, yeah. of the water of the day for across nice. yeah. Is this uh, the, the last <laughs> leg of it? What's the hard one? The Frank or some shit? What's that's the hard the cross? Fran. Well, the, the hard Fran, one. Is, I know. The hard one is Murph. It's a, it's oh, a mile Murph. run, then a hundred, a yeah. uh, hundred um, pull ups, uh, two hundred push ups, three hundred uh, um, squats, and then uh, another mile run. Yeah, it's too many. It's too many of all those things. So that's usually my warm up every day, right? That's what, believe it or not, you know, so you know Michael Murphy, right? The guy from, uh, what's that movie where, uh, the war movie? You know American Sniper? The, no, no, the other one. Um, um, but there's a bunch of them in it. Apocalypse uh, Now. Something. No, no, it's not that one. But anyway, he, he played Michael Murphy, Lieutenant Michael Murphy, and that's what he used to do. Every, that was his workout every day he did. Nah, that's too much. That's too much. Like oh, a look, lot. There's Paul. That was like some Mr. Rogers shit where he walked in, he changed his clothes. In the said, neighborhood. Oh, I was ready for business. Oh, look now, at this. Now he's doing Oh, these. I'm ready to go, man. All right. Uh, well, we have a lot to cover today. We have a lot of uh, hilarity on the Instagram front. But um, <laughs> National Days, I'll say this. We've been scraping the bottom of the barrel lately, but holy shit. Today they came up with the, <laughs> three for three. three. It's a fucking trifecta. All right. First of all, mm. National Cinnabon mm. Day or something. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. Like, isn't this something we can all get behind? Cinnamon can I ask a question, that. Eric? Can I ask Please a quick do. question? Yes. What's what's going wrong with the three on the on the right there? I just think they haven't been frosted yet. I think okay. they're waiting. But they're getting done. Okay. Yeah, no. All right. You got to frost them, motherfuckers. Because those got to get thrown out if they're not frosted. Oh, can you imagine what without frosting? Uh, uh, wait. Robin, wait. The most, the, the most important cinnamon roll question. Raisins or no raisins? Oh, you know what? I'm generally pro raisin, but get the fuck get the fuck out of a cinnamon roll. No, they don't yeah. belong there. Yes, I agree. stick to the cookies. I stick to the cookies. Into the, into a cinnamon. Uh, no, I'm sorry, an oatmeal cookie. That's that's a delightful raisin uh, uh, mm. vehicle. But these, yeah, stay out. Yeah, here's the thing too that made me think of this is remember going to a mall and the whole fucking food court smelled like a cinnabon and it was just a better time to be alive. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Now I don't know if you know this or not, but these now are actually in Planet Fitness. <laughs> so it's the judgment um, free zone yeah robin so, did you ever go uh, to the mall and make out with a dude from hot topic in the back of a spencer's gifts because he looks like a chick because he's all goth and then go have a cinnamon wait, and an orange julius isn't that a tale way as too relatable way uh, too orange julius. relatable yes remember orange julius remember yeah. the 90s oh my god oh. can i just say this now mm. here's the thing that robin didn't tell you robin said that happened last night <laughs> <laughs> This is a Tuesday for Robin. We're still living in the 90s in the Philippines, so yes. Every guy in the Philippines looks like a dude that works at a Hot Topic, which is nice. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so if, if National Cinnamon Day wasn't enough, I guess it's cinnamon roll, but fuck it. It's also National Taco Day. How the oh, fuck? Oh, wow. I know. Oh, 
Is it today, Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. Taco Wednesday. Classic. I know that you like to count the shares. So look at this, though. Two sh yeah. 2,000 shares on the Cinnabons, fucking 11,000 on tacos. Oh, my God. I, I, I got to be honest. I'm a little confused. I don't understand. So the idiots at Taco, whoever owns tacos or created tacos, didn't have enough sense to get this on a Tuesday? I'm I just. Know. I think we're going to have to wait six years. for it. No, seven, eight years? I don't know. When's it going to come back around on a Tuesday? It's going to be a while. I got to be honest, Eric. I, I've been misled all along. I was told it was always Tuesday. It's no, not? No. As a matter of fact, today's Wednesday and you got to eat some fucking tacos. I'll say this about oh, the quality of Mexican God. food. Mexican food is so good that even the shitty American version is great. Like the flaming yeah, hot Dorito taco. Like we can't fuck it up. We've tried our best and it's We've still not good. Oh, my God. God. Yeah, we, we, we have done all we could. All hands on deck to, to, to really take it to the next level and fuck it up for good, but, but never. Yeah, we just can't do it. Just... Loaded nachos. We're putting pulled pork on overly cheddared cheese nachos, and they're still good. We cannot mm -hmm. fuck it up. It's fuck. It's just, yeah. you can't do it. That's Robin, true, what's true, the taco true. situation over there in the Philippines? I mean, we have a couple of Taco Bells, but that's it. Uh, I mean, mm. Taco Bell is not that bad either. They're tacos. It's, it's hard to fuck up. That's what I'm saying. Taco like, Bell is good. Taco Bell is good. Yeah. The mild Taco sauce Bell is good, man. I just like the hard shell, though. I think I'm weird. I'm one of those people who like the hard shell. You're, you're and, very like, the hard shell is so soggy. By the time you get it, it's mm -hmm. like I, that's that's the the uh, the thing that frustrates me. But, you don't yeah, like these things I, here. I, what are these tortillas? Uh, well, I, I like I like the tortillas when they're corn. Like I like the corn tortillas. But I like these like here, Eric. Scott yeah, Eric what are good, these huh? you've made here? What What are these you've prepared here for us, Eric? Um, I'll explain it later in in Spanish. You know what's great about Mexican food too? Like the fajitas, like they come out of the kitchen sizzling. Everybody turns to look. It's a fucking spectacle. Like it's just everything's yeah. amazing. You know? Yeah. Can I just say one more thing too? Right? Is that um, one thing I think really resonates with most people? Had tips off. All right. Hats off to the uh, Italians and to the uh, the taco makers. Is people love handheld stuff? They really do. Burgers, fries, tacos. Mm -hmm. I, we don't we don't want to involve plates and utensils if we mm -hmm. can avoid. Them. No, sir. This is a traveling Vib food. Vibrators, whatever. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> I eat those with a fork. You don't? Well, you should. Oh. Um, first world problems. As <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the toughest time is whenever you're driving to eat them, right? <laughs> I like spilling shit in my lap because then it's like a tiny salad right on my crotch. It's exciting. All right. <laughs> so not only is it National Cinnamon Day and National Taco Day, but Jesus Christ. Oh, we have three. Three. Oh it's goodness. National Vodka Day. Like wow. only 3,000 shares. I, exactly. I Tacos are dominating with 11,000 shares. I'll say this about vodka. Vodka is like the ha haddock of the booze world. Like it needs breadcrumbs and butter to be good. Uh, like, a, like cranberry juice and a roofie. But... Yeah. Um, it's still it's still good, right? I mean, it still belongs to the pantheon of booze. I feel it like is. it's uh, uh, it's the chameleon of the, it's the alcohol exactly. world. It sure is, yeah. It's alcohol yeah. for for people that don't like alcohol because you can mask yes. its flavor very easily. That's right. Like so, this is the haddock of fish. Bourbon's the salmon. Mm. Like you know, it's destroying your liver when you're drinking bourbon. Yeah. And so, just, and you know, you're eating fish when you have. But you know what? I just got to say this. I think, and you know, listen, I'm crazy. Bourbon just tastes better. I the bourbon does taste well. This, this, this just tastes like burning. It tastes bourbon like tastes burning better, water. Man. To be honest with but you, to me, right? And I don't drink a lot of vodka. I'm more I'm, I like bourbon, but uh, when I drink vodka, it tastes like whatever you're drinking. Do you know what exactly. I mean? Right, right, right. 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 So, but with totally rubbing alcohol, but with rubbing alcohol mixed into it, that's pretty much what <laughs> it tastes like. That's right. But but like, can I ask you guys a question? And it might just be me. But you know, people, they'll have drinks. So they'll be like, oh, my God, I had this drink. It was so good. You know, it was so good. It was like a, whatever kind of specialty um, cocktail they had or whatever. And mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a second. You don't just drink to get fucked up. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I do. I'm like, I'm like, I don't really care about what it tastes like. I, I You yeah. know, like, um, yes. so it's like, uh, like, if I want something that tastes good, I'll take like a lemonade yeah. or an iced tea. You know, but, but it's like none of it tastes that good to me. But it's like, well, this, I'll drink the fuck out of it. Yeah. I agree with you. This is why I, yeah. the pretension of wine bothers me because what wine assholes going, oh, it tastes like garden hose or it tastes like cat piss or the tannins. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Get, get drunk. Stop fucking pretending that you give a shit. Oh, it just drives me crazy. We I all know. Drink. I know. I'm going to switch Come your on. camera for you. Hold on, Paul. Ready? Right? You Have you ever seen uh, – here, here's the other one, right? I'm just curious um, – because we're in wine country. Have you ever seen those people that are like, are like, this is a show sommelier, right? And they're like, it's from the south of France, 1725. And it's like, 
other than in a restaurant or like with just some weirdos, when is that ever going to, you know what I mean? Never. It's like, it's a useless skill. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really understand. Agree. Well, that's why when really? I start buying these bourbons and I read the reviews and they're like, oh, it tastes like, you know, fucking leather or like, does it? I think it tastes like bourbon. It tastes like fucking, it tastes like brown booze. And that's, that's it. Because you can't have a conversation with a normal person about that shit. Can you? No. And no. you're right. People will be like, it tastes like cat piss with mixed with rubber tires. And I'm thinking, what? When did you taste cat piss? And when did you have a garden hose? What, yeah, yeah. Stop drinking these... cat piss for five right. minutes. Just fucking enjoy yeah, your like, wine. So like, like, this, this has a taste uh, of corn in it. I'm thinking, have you had a corn shake? What is he talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's so why, man. I thought I thought notes were like musical. That's yeah, right. right. No, no, no. You know what I always say? I always say, let me see what he's got here, guys. <laughs> tastes like wine. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> it tastes like you know, I'm some shit I say later. That's what it always tastes like. I'm you know? getting notes of uh, I'm getting notes of cedar. Yep. Notes of cherry blossom. Notes of uh, musical. Notes of musical. Cardamom? How the fuck do you put like you put vodka in a wooden barrel and you get leather out of that? Shut the fuck up. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Be like, I like so this bizarre. tastes like piss. <laughs> All right. Or it any so any vodka any vodka vodka acting like it tastes any different like like it'll be smoother you know and probably better for your hangover. They're like so this is made from potatoes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's impressive, it's impressive. It's like, that they make it out of potatoes. Potatoes right. are it's so like, goddamn um, versatile. Potatoes are five tool player. Fucking French fries, baked potatoes. It gets us drunk right. while we're while we're loading up on the carbohydrates. Gets us drunk. All the potatoes yeah. do is give. All is this yeah, right. uh, it's an altruistic. They ask nothing thing. in return. No, they don't. Oh. <laughs> National they don't treasure. Try. Oh, potato salad? Like, it's endless. Oh. oh, my God. I fucking love potato salad. Thank God for potatoes. You don't even have to put them in the fridge. No, that's the other thing. They're shelf-stable for like that's six right. months. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to find a funny picture for National Vodka Day, but the first ones that came up was this thing. I don't. Do you remember when people were pouring vodka in their eyes? Remember when this was a thing for like uh, five minutes on the internet? Was you don't have stupid, to. Was this a stupidity challenge? Yeah, it, it was like a TikTok yeah. challenge before TikTok. But guys, you can just put it in your mouth hole. It gets you equally yeah, drunk. There's, there's no reason right. to involve your eyes. Please stop it. Right. There was. I, do, you, do you guys remember? This was a while ago. And this wasn't in the United States. This was somewhere in Asia. They were putting. They were soaking tampons in <laughs> vodka and putting them in their assholes during school. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. To get drunk. To get drunk while they're in school. You have to admire the ingenuity, though, because that is. You do. All right. You do. What if they just just... went to to the? What if they just went and and uh, and took a couple of sips during class? Or just skip school like the rest of us? Get drunk in the back, you know? Fucking yeah. It's like when you see those signs, right? And it's like no smoking and no vaping. And I'm thinking, I can understand no smoking. No one's going to be able to detect vaping. No. Unless it right. smells like a puff of strawberry shortcake all of a sudden, but it disappears. Which could be like I pooted. <laughs> yeah. that was me. <laughs> all right, Robin, let's cover the news, uh, shall we? Because we we got some Instagram hilarity to get to. We do. Mm. Uh, Elon Musk and Twitter. Oh they boy, always X. find it's X. It's X. I refuse to call it X. Mm, it's so well. stupid. He's got to change it. Back. He's got to change it back at some point. It's, it's just uh, yeah. yeah. Nobody's no one's. Every time they reference X, they go formerly known as Twitter, and that's going to happen yeah, for the rest of the right. time. Or, or just yes. say Twitter like Robin did. You know, it's not. Yeah. It's not working. You know, you can't just pick a letter. <laughs> Other people are using that letter for fuck's sake. All right, what? what are yeah, we exactly. Saying? Um, okay, so they just want to continue milking people, which is inevitable, of course. So they want to do live shopping. I don't know mm. if you guys know what live shopping is or if you've seen it, but it's, it's big in China. In Asia. It's yeah, China. in Asia. Um, so it's because Asians, we love celebrities and influencers. So the idea is you get someone famous like Paris Hilton uh, to live stream a bunch of different products. And then in real time, you can be influenced and you can buy these products on the stream. Sounds something kind of like it would be interesting if we did this on our show. So if anyone wants to like send us stuff and we do it on our show, uh, we'd love to. Robin, so what like you, Instagram I, stories. Yeah. Robin, what do you think about uh, selling feet pics live on the Eric and Robin show? <laughs> Isn't that the obvious thing to do? <laughs> I was thinking more of like a tangible product, but... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, we'll talk about that it all, once in the green room afterwards. I, well, I will just say this. I Google imaged Filipino feet pics, and it's fucking hilarious. But I, I didn't pull any, but if you guys want to... If you want to see Robin's feet, go ahead. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Is that it? So we're going to talk about yeah, Paris. Okay. 
Okay, so evidently Paris Hilton, and we have a Paris Hilton flare up. Like every few years, you got to put a cream on yeah. her, and then she goes away. But I just don't understand why. <laughs> like he's Elon Musk, he owns Twitter. Why is this the celebrity? It's like there's nobody else that he could have gotten. You can't get Taylor Swift. You can't get Tom Brady or The Rock. It's fucking Paris Hilton. Yeah, I, I got to be honest with you. If you have half of a brain, like like I was thinking the other day, right? I, I had a brainstorm. I don't even know if I should say it on the show because it's too good. Yeah. But if Bud Light had any sense. They mm. would get a hold of Taylor Swift and say, "Taylor, we want to make a can with you on it." Matter mm. of fact, we just want to we want we want to change the name to something with you in it. It would bring the nation together. That's the oh only my thing. god! That's our only hope. They would, they would save themselves. <laughs> yeah. So the ex CEO called Paris Hilton the queen of pop culture. The queen of pop culture. Is this two thousand four? I don't know if you right. remember what happened in right. two thousand four though. But so I pulled up the yes. two things that she's contributed to society. One was the Simple Life, yeah. and it was a that's a nice little show. And she only got that because she had one night in Paris. So these are her two, like right. the queen of pop culture. Don't you have to submit yes. more to pop culture than these two? This is her resume. She also had a reality oh, show before, before her wedding. Oh, okay. So uh, I didn't. <laughs> but but she started, but you guys don't understand. She started successful companies with the hundreds of billions of dollars that she just mm. inherited from her parents while they're still alive. I mean, yeah, she's yeah. very successful. <laughs> What did the Hiltons do? I forget what the Hiltons did. Was it the, uh, yeah? Is it uh, a hotel? Yeah, the little mom and pop hotel. I think it was. Everywhere. Yeah, it was like a yeah. bed and breakfast, right? A quaint a bed, bed and breakfast. breakfast. A cozy. Off Long Island, I, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, I remember this show, this show. She was big time during this show for a, for a period for like a year. She was pretty big time. She was, and but I think Nicole kinda, Richie was. Uh, she was the funny one. Yeah. What happened to yeah. Nicole Richie? By the way, does anybody know? She got married to yeah. one of the kids from Fallout Boy, yeah. or did she join Fallout Boy? Oh, really? Follow Boy? Maybe That's she's weird. in the band. I think she's in the band. She's, she's in, in Follow Boy? I, I always kind of group these two together with like Ashton Kutcher and yeah. those weird kids from the 70s show. One of which just got locked up forever, yeah. right? Uh, Danny Masterson. He's in. <laughs> oh, wow. What happened there? You know, here, he Jim, Jim girls or yeah. three girls or something. He raped, he, he raped like a bunch of women. Here's what he I does. don't understand about Danny Masterson, though, right? Is that uh, how is he famous? I, I never mm -hmm. got it. It's like Jonah Hill and them. That doesn't make sense to me. I thought I didn't like the show anyway, but he was clearly the worst of the show, also. Right? Yeah, I thought Ashton Kutcher was a strong second for worst. Yeah. Maybe, he, maybe he led. I, I, I never been a big Ashton fan. And people, you know, it's funny. People are like, "He's so smart. He's so smart." When you have hundreds of millions of dollars, you don't have to be that smart. You just have to invest no. in a couple of things. Yeah, just don't fuck yeah. it up. Yeah, right. and I'm and sorry. everything you say, everything you say, people just take as gospel. You're like an expert on everything. If, if yeah. you're like a celebrity to that level. Can I offer Elon some unsolicited advice here? Yeah. If I were if I were him and I was running X, I would get the people that are the biggest influencers from TikTok and Instagram <laughs> to live live sale. That's just me. I'm just I'm just a peasant. What about the stars yeah. of the Eric and Rodney show with Robin? Do you well, think that anybody? would make sense too. That's we could sell. You know, we could sell. We could sell LinkedIn Sales Navigator memberships here. <laughs> he's, uh, he's selling himself short, man. He's selling himself short. Does this look like the same person, by the way? I just keep staring no. at this. A, a lot has happened between then and now. I'm no graphic I mean, designer, I, Eric, but I don't think this would pass the 190 West standards. <laughs> no. And I think if – Listen what happens. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't if have you to were, uh, <laughs> If you were to buy this video now, it would it would be like rated uh, PG TV 13. Smoking. Yeah, it's not even that bad. You know, <laughs> smoking. I like if you said you guys know smoking is now like a thing on TV. What it's is like it? Smoking. Like, oh, like no. if there's a TV show, remember it used to be like violence, like sexual oh, yeah, yeah. references. Now, right. now it'll just be like TV PG 14 smoking references <laughs> to tobacco smoking usage in, in the show. I like this is the collector's edition. This is the two disc set. So this has the behind the scenes. It has the soundtrack. Oh. It's got the whole thing. If, yeah. if you sent this to Lisa, she would say Rodney's designing, designing again. Yeah, <laughs> you, did, you did this in Canva, right? This is very That's good. Great. This is Canva, yeah. Yikes. Do you think it has any B sides? Like a couple of times where they like they banged and only lasted for like thirty seconds. I think so. They got some bloopers too, like where they giggle midway yeah. through. They forget and then it has your heart goes <laughs> on uh, on the other one, right? The special. <laughs> Two thousand four was a hell of a time. I'm I'm sorry. I know I do this to you a lot, Robin. What year were you born? Uh, Nineteen ninety seven. Ah, oh, so you were there. Oh, but, you were alive. Yeah, I, I, I vividly remember when you had to like insert three CDs just to watch one movie. It was yeah, those it were was the some, days. No, those were called DVDs. <laughs> no, VCDs. Not CDs. And the well, DVDs I, was I, the I, one, I think. VCDs. I, I know what you're talking about. Those were those were actual regular CDs. Were those the wait? Were those the ones CDs. that we used to get from the 
from the convenience store, those ones. Yeah, said, yeah, yeah. You get uh, those. They'd, like like they'd be like trading like day, trading day, yeah. right here with Denzel Washington. Oh my God, <laughs> trading day. <laughs> I'd be like, how much? They'd be like fifteen dollars. I'd be like, you said three, three. Yeah. Boom. So I'd be like, what we're watching tonight, and and he was always. I would buy like five of them. Right, just how it go. I'd buy like yeah. five of them, and one of them worked. Mm. So exactly. you missed the middle of Training Day. Training Day is such a '90s movie. It's fucking tremendous. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they do PCP and shoot up a village or a village. Those were the, those were the bootleg movie days, though, man. Remember they used to they used to take a camera in with them. Yeah, oh, yeah. The theater. Yeah. And then you and see like, somebody like, walking to the bathroom. Movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, it was so bad. All right. Yeah, it's so that bad. was terrible. It's a simpler time. All right, what, what else we got there, Robin? Mm. Mm. I feel like uh, imposing sleepy time curfews and non-drinking uh, hours for grown men is just kind of silly. Um, so this is a squadron of the Air Force station mm -hmm. in Germany, and they're being punished because they're caught drinking in the wee hours of the morning. It's yeah. it's funny because they're they're looking down on uh, drinking alcohol, but isn't the Air Force kind of notorious for, like, feeding pilots amphetamines? Oh, that's an they, excellent... And they draw the I line have no alcohol. idea, are they? Well, here's... I think the overarching point is these men and women are over there ready to go to war to murder people, but we have to do it sober now? That's outrageous. Yeah, here's right. the other I thing. agree. They should I be think... able to take anything they want. Yes, like... yeah, because your job is to murder people, so have a few yeah. beers. The other thing is this was the nicest Fox News comment section I've ever seen because some oh. people immediately tried to go, fucking liberals, millennials drinking... And then everybody came to their defense and goes, hey, man, I was drunk my entire time in Vietnam. Everyone, I was fucking so drunk. The Marines, I was so drunk. So yeah. thank God. So there was this brought well, that, this yeah. brought the country together. That's not synonymous with the military. Is I feel like we got bigger trouble. troubles. I mean, of course. No. You're going to ask them to murder people and be sober while they do it? Exactly. Like, oh, my God. Plus, you know, and they're not, they, don't even, they don't even own their lives. They, the, the government owns them. Owns, yeah. Actually owns them. And I think utopia. we should be giving them drugs. I, I we, agree. Any drugs, any drugs. Here's a bowl. Want. Here's right. a bowl any of uh, Xanax. Here's a bowl, whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, Plus they're they're they, even, they, they, they might request fentanyl. I don't care. You, 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 you sure. yeah. Whatever gets you through your shift. Uh, yeah. brave men and women of the Air Force. You know what's sad, though? They might be drinking because, you know, the Air Force, we used to go to war, we used to drop bombs on people. Right now, because of the war in Ukraine, they are unloading cargo and personnel. So the Air Force is now a taxi service. So that, that'll get you. You know what I mean? You signed up. You thought you were going to be a hero, going to war, win medals, gold. Uh, purple yeah, art. but you know, yeah, but as soon as you delist, man, you got a, j a job at UPS. That's right. I mean, you, you, <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I thought I thought they were drinking for the same reason we are because people like Matt Gates are running the show, but I, but but maybe not. I don't know. And you know, the, so the, the drinking, um, the laws they put into place because everyone's drunk aren't even that bad. They said there's no drinking between midnight and 6 a.m., which is almost reasonable. And they said, well, this, they said you can't drink within eight hours of a shift. That's don't you, have, don't you drink, go to sleep and then go to work. Isn't that your eight hours? Yeah, right there? Yeah. It seems like I thought it was drink, go to work, drink, <laughs> go to sleep. Right. That's, that's, the right. Marine. that's not right. That's the okay. Marines. That's wrong, Air Force, yeah. You gotta, you gotta fly a plane. Um, this, so they talked about in the comment section about, uh, the officers club. And I know I've mentioned this before, but I'm an army brat. I just want to bring it back to the nineties real quick. At the officers club in Belgium, me and my friend used to go in, we used to get a couple of Shirley temples and they had this fucking arcade machine, Mortal Kombat. I, I don't know if you guys had this experience, but if you went from playing Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario to Mortal Kombat, it blew your oh, fucking mind. You remember oh, like, oh my mind, God, dude. you're collecting rings. And then this A -B -A -C -A -B -B. guy. A-B-A-C-A-B-B. -B. Oh, <laughs> The blood code? Yes. The down up left that they write down on Genesis. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. It was good. Ronnie, did you have I mean we went from like baby shit collecting rings and jumping on mushrooms to this? Right. It was, yeah. to rip, it was ripping out ripping off spines, ripping off heads, uh oh. killing people. Killing people scorching people. It's like you'll never Video be able people to because people park. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, it sucks about this. this. Our is... entire generation went around ripping people's hearts out. Oh, no, wait a second. We're not fucking morons. But this was um, this was a, a hell of a time to be alive, Robin, and I'm sorry you missed it. You were just born into the era where this was normal. This was groundbreaking oh, shit, man. Oh, well. This is the Republican Party behind them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Republican debate live. That's McCarthy on the ground. Yeah. That's uh, Matt Gates. Just uh, yeah, that's. Matt I think. Gaetz. I think when this came out, the Republican Party probably hated it so much. Of course they. But did. now, but but now they would be like, uh, they would yeah, be like, yeah. oh, everyone's just, so sensitive and weak now. What? It's what a great game. point. Republicans hated yeah. this when it came out, and now they'd be like, yeah, right. the millennials don't like ripping people's hearts out like a bunch right. of sissies. When I was a kid. Ugh. Right. 
And then they would ask Mitch McConnell, and this is what he would do. <laughs> <laughs> Your Mitch McConnell impression is second to none. Thoughts prayers. <laughs> I, I, he has a good voice though. Can, uh, he has a good. He sounds like that guy. Uh, long, what is it? Long, Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, kind of. No, yeah. that's true. <laughs> good voice. Has, speaking of, uh, speaking of half dead, Matt Gates uh, and the uh, and the fine folks in the Republican and Democratic Party have overthrown Kevin McCarthy, and now we do not have a Speaker of the House. Yeah. They overthrew McCarthy because he was bipartisan enough not to shut the government down. So that should tell you how fucked we are with the next guy. That's worrisome. That, yeah. It really is fucked up. It's like he's like very moderate, and it's yeah. like that's not good. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> hey, how about we don't shut the country down? And the Republicans are like, how about well, fuck you? You're oddly fine. enough, I did a little digging, and I was able to uncover that the reason for that is because Kevin McCarthy is head of the Ethics Committee, and after the Department of Justice shut down their investigation into Matt Gates's alleged mm. uh, underage sex ring or whatever he was involved in, yeah. uh, Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans who are now in charge of the House, <laughs> House Ethics Opened it back up. Uh, Shame <laughs> on you, Kevin, for not liking pedophilia. Well, man, what a bold stance to not like yeah. pedophilia. And this is, that pisses me off because like, I'm like a very moderate person. And it's like, why can't people just be normal and have common sense and do the things that like, yeah. that make sense? Yeah, I, you yeah, know, I just I don't understand why extreme. the people that make the rules can't stop uh, breaking, can't stop breaking, uh, can't stop breaking the law. Yeah. I don't understand yeah. how, so. Uh, Especially us, when us, it comes to kids. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So us uh, leftists, right? There was no family values. We, you know, we're, right. we're pro uh, homosexuality. We fucking worship the devil and eat babies. When Al Franken goes like this in a picture with a sleeping uh, whatever journalist, we kick him out of the fucking Senate. When Matt Gates has sex with underage girls, they give him more power. So That's who's right. the real asshole here? Is it the left? Right. It doesn't seem like it is. Yeah, that guy, was going, that guy was going to jail. Like he was definitely going to go to jail. And then something just happened where he just it, he didn't even get prosecuted. Well, Kevin's and Kevin's working on the investigation, and Kevin said, "Now we're oh, so, this, so oddly enough, right? I was reading this, and it said, uh, well, now that Kevin has no longer has to worry about the House Speakership, he's really going to be able to dig into this investigation. Oh, good, this investigation. I know I would. I would be. I would say this is my life's mission now to make sure Matt didn't yeah. do nothing wrong. Wait, are you saying Matt Gates didn't think things through here? That's <laughs> no, weird. He usually, he's really he usually more of a planner. Kevin's like, now I can take all of my time and focus my efforts on on this investigation to clear Matt's name." Well, that's exciting. <laughs> American ah, politics. All right, what do we get next? Go America. Um, okay. So I grew up in a third world country or a bunch of third world countries. And uh, right. so my mom would always tell me growing up, um, always warning me that uh, there's going to be a black van and they're snatching up kids all over the place and they harvest their organs. So I was traumatized. Mm -hmm. And for good reason, I don't think my mom would tell me something if this thing wasn't partly true. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mom, if you're watching this, you're partly right because CNN mothers are always right. Story. Always right. Um, so there's this gang in Pakistan, in Pakistan, and they're organizing an illegal ar organ harvesting ring. Um, so their main supply comes from kidnapping people from hospitals, and then they're rarely ever seen again. And then they take their kidneys. World's fucked yeah. up. Yeah, this is a hell of a story because. Um, <laughs> So evidently, sometimes gang members will convince people to go have some private surgery. And when they wake up, they'll be without a kidney. One guy was convinced to have surgery by a gang member. Woke up, didn't know what happened. Went to a doctor and the doctor was like, you know, you're missing a kidney. He was like, I had no idea. But here's the thing. Here's kidney Yikes. surgery. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I have to bring this up uh, because this guy who did it performed... 328 operations, only three people died. His anesthesiologist was a part-time car mechanic, which means he was a homeschooled doctor. But they only lost three patients out of 328. This looks like pretty involved surgery. Does it? Does it? Yeah, yeah it does, yeah. man. That does. I just hope he cleaned off his hands real well before he got in there. The, the uh, patients didn't have like more. black grease all over their face when he's putting the mask on them and all that. <laughs> Imagine they're like... Nothing imagine against mechanics, but they're usually pretty dirty, right? Imagine they're like, your three o'clock's here, and he's like, listen, I tell him I'll rotate the tires tomorrow. Move them tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I, I, move it. Tell him I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting on the part. I can get it refurbished for 34117 <laughs> installed. If he wants a new one, I can have it for 50176. I can barely really get that part over here on Thursday. <laughs> It's, it's it's conceptually bizarre, don't you think? Yeah. Don't we know an anesthesiologist? He, he makes a lot of money. Did you know that your mechanic can do it? Save a few I bucks? I got to be honest. The anesthesiologist that I know wouldn't know where the oil tank was. Right. And I don't fault him because I, I I have no idea. I, I have no idea either. No, but this guy's a fucking renaissance man. He can fix yeah. a car and administer anesthesia. Uh, anesthesia. 
That's pretty impressive. So apparently um, surgery is just organic Legos. Exactly. Well, just like just like plumbing is water Legos. This is right. <laughs> yes, exactly. They, they say that's like one of the toughest things to do. You know, anesthesiology. Live yeah. surgery. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not harder than fixing, I don't know, a carburetor or some shit. No, yeah. Thing. If you can fix a car, you can fix the person. You can <laughs> they put the car to sleep every day. They put for the an car oil to sleep. change. Turn the ignition off, car goes to sleep, they fix it. It's fine. Can I just say something? If yes. this if this mechanic had really had his affairs in order, he would have been over here helping Michael Jackson sleep at night. Exactly. There's, <laughs> there's, exactly. there's a lot more opportunity. I remember people. when they were like, you know what? I can't believe that doctor killed Michael Jackson. I said, he didn't kill Michael Jackson. They said, well, you're crazy. He killed my, I said, he would have never killed Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson pays him. Don't be That's a fool. Cow. Right. Yeah. He you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, you know what the beautiful symmetry here is? One of these kidneys on the streets goes for $34,000. The mm. fine for performing illegal operations is only $3,400. So, you know, I'm no math doctor, but I'd say it's worth the risk. I mean, yeah. you could also get sent to prison for 10 years, but 34K versus 3,400. That's, that's a 10X good. come up, man. That's a 10X <laughs> yeah. money. It's good business. Jeez. That is just good business. Grant, Grant Cardone. Yeah, yeah, here's, here's the moral the moral of the fucking story. Just stay out of Pakistan and Syria and Iran. Yeah. And then hold on to your kids. Don't go to these countries. Just Unless you hate your kidneys. So this is, okay, yeah. one more thing on this. I'm glad you brought that up. This was performed in Kashmir because Kashmir has no laws against illegal kidney transplants. Yeah. Kashmir is a great Led Zeppelin song, though. That was the only oh, thing. It's, it's, it's one is. of the best. That shit is oh, so dude. good. Bam. It slaps. Is oh, the shit slaps. It fucking slaps. All right, what else we got? Oh, I love this next story. Uh, the next one, I really hope. Uh, I really hope this guy's trolling. Um, so I, I don't know much about American basketball or Jimmy Butler, uh, but he's quite famous. Um, oh yeah. But he, he's kind of brought back the emo trend, and it kind of looks whack. But judge for yourself. He's funny. Have you seen any? So every year on Media Day, he does something ridiculous. So this year, the Heat lost out on the uh, uh, Dame Lillard, Lillard, uh, Lillard yeah. trade. So he's so Jimmy Butler is said he's going through his emo phase. So the fucking things are. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Heat World. <laughs> I saw one yesterday where he was like this with his hair. He's he's really funny. Yo, ball out boy. Ball out boy. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Panic at the free throw. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's good too. Heat wins. Oh shit. <laughs> So he was at it and he goes like that when they ask him a question. It's really funny. Oh, he was a character the whole time. Um, he, I'm a Celtics fan, but I think Jimmy Butler is my favorite player in the NBA. He's fucking hilarious. He's he he's a sick. national treasure. And he Paul, are you a Sixers player. fan? You guys had Jimmy for a year, didn't you? I, I dude, I never got into basketball or hockey. No. Baseball and football. I like the out the outdoor sports. I tried, man. I tried for. Who a do you like for I baseball, just, Paul? No, the Yankees, Phillies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fighting Phillies. <laughs> <laughs> which one's your favorite? Uh, which one? Which one is oh, your? Oh uh, man, I don't know. I really let. Um, I think I gotta go ball out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Oh well. Wow. hilarious. Uh, yeah. So he is trolling, Robin. He uh, last year I got one. Mm. What about nine in the rotation? Right, so <laughs> nine in the afternoon. Nice. You got to do it. Get it on the internet. He's having a moment right now. He's so fucking clutch too. Like this guy is. Yeah, oh my god, he's good. I, I love. He, they were the eight seed and made the finals last year. You know why? Because of fucking ball out boy. Ball out boy. These are like. Uh, these are like the Bruce uh, Chuck Norris comments almost, but in a oh, different. Oh, I know. Almost, yeah. almost oh, yeah. as good. Yeah. Right yeah. Um. All right. What do we got next? This one's kind of big. Um. I honestly don't know how this actually became a story, but everyone seems to talk about it. It's mm -hmm. about uh, Taylor Swift being in the NFL. Um, so several people are upset because she allegedly stole the show. Uh, so she made an appearance because she was invited to watch the game by Travis Kelsey. Is that yes, his name? Travis Kelsey. Yep. Yeah. And then the NFL obviously took the opportunity to milk um, like videos of her and uh, just like saturated with the coverage of the NFL. And then a lot of uh, people like it, but also a lot of football fans are like, "Fuck you! We're not here to watch Taylor Swift. We want to watch football." Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, look. You don't have to. You don't have to look at Taylor Swift. I mean, I most of the game is is uh, on the game. They're not going to skip plays to look at Taylor Swift. This it's is Dave Portney. Like commercial. There's Taylor Swift. Was, I mean, they, I don't they, care. They about did go to her. I think they went to her. Like I think the count was 17 times. Which the, is the first week. Yeah, it was bad. Well, Portnoy or Port, however you say his name. First of all, he's he fucking really impressive. I used to read Barstool Sports, and he just bought a house. By the way, I was going to pull this up because he was like in the news. Forty billion dollars. 
42 million dollars for this house in Nantucket. For, first of all, I don't 42 million for that's a lot, especially in Nantucket. I right, but he's worth a hundred million dollars because he started Barstool Sports back in I think it was like 2004. Not bad, good job, Portnoy. Yeah. Um, but fuck, yeah, I mean, the Taylor Swift thing is we talked about this before yesterday. I just don't know why everyone likes her so much. It's to me, it's I just she, it's just she love music, it. isn't it? I don't get it. Like I and like I, I, I she's great. She's popular. She, I, I'm not a Swifty. But, no. Well, Dana, but I, I get it. She's one of probably the five, ten most popular people in the world. I mean, I, yeah. yeah. So he called know, her. Whatever. So his point is, he goes, "I like football and I like Swift, but the NFL is sort of selling out to Swifties." But he goes, he called her the best entertainer in the last hundred years. Come on, oh. the best entertainer in the last hundred years. Oh. Better than Michael Jackson? Stop it. Stop it, Rob. Yeah. Well, Robin's a Swifty. I would say she's brought in a lot of money. Uh, I think I think the reason that people say that she's probably, probably the best entertainer, I'm not saying she is, but I think the reason people say that is because of how much money she's brought in and how and, and her longe- right. and her longevity. Yeah. Well, I'll tell and you she this. She started out like country and then she kind of like she, – she actually is a musician. Yeah. She doesn't have people just like write songs for her and she, she does – different genres so you know she's she's reputable it's not well, just like a britney spears i i always argue that aerosmith is the, the greatest american rock band because they were culturally significant for third 30 years three decades they were popular in the 70s 80s and 90s yeah. show me taylor swift in 20 years and then we'll discuss who's the best best entertainer in the history of the world i i think they mess up uh, the numbers because um there's just a lot more people now as compared to back then when we had like these really good entertainers like queen it's just much more people now. Yeah, and in terms yeah. of albums, there's also so- other ways to, con- that, to consume the, the the data. You know what I mean? That's of true course. too. And and I just read that in terms of album sales, they didn't even count album sales until barcodes were, were invented, and, and you know essentially. So no one really knows how many albums the Beatles sold. It could be ten times Taylor Swift. Oh, be, they yeah. said the same thing with Garth Brooks, like um, when yeah. they first came out with SoundScan. Like I mean, remember mm-hmm. when he was huge? Like he sold so many records. And it's yeah. like if you think about before him, there was George Strait. Before that, it was Hank Williams, and it's just oh, you know, whoever yeah, and and on and on. Yeah, and what record labels would do is call music stores and be like, "How many records did you sell?" Like I don't know, hundred. So it's you know, the science yeah, is. Yeah. I just don't understand. All I right, would have just been like, I would have just been like, man, we produced two million records, and right. they're gone, yeah, and they're asking for more. They're reversing they're asking for more records. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fuck. Jeez. Paul, Paul, please. Don't try to, Paul, please. Do not well, try to exercise your common sense on this. We <laughs> sent you 100. Uh, You're using the wrong uh, stuff. Um, did you sell 100 albums? <laughs> yes. All right, what else we got? What, what, what do we got? We got to get to some. Okay, uh, so the last one. This is yeah. Eric's moment to get some more Christian hate mail. Um, Uh-oh. It's a Catholic topic. So there's this atheist columnist, um, and it's female, and she's calling out all non-believers and atheists to band together and share their secular opinions on normalizing atheism. So her name's Kate Cohen, and she says that Christians in particular um, are using their faith to be destructive in society, and she insists that they shouldn't be involved in laws and otherwise our democracies at stake. Um, I have to agree, law and uh, religion shouldn't really be mixing together. It's poor. If anyone can name a theocracy that's ever been not 100% evil, I would love to hear it. They don't exist. So why people yeah. think that you can't serve uh, in public office and be an atheist? I mentioned this the other day on the show. I saw a chart. They go, who would you vote for in the United States? Number one was straight white male, obviously, but then, you know, it went like black and then gay and then Muslim and then what? And it just went down. The very last thing people would vote for is an atheist. And I think that is so batshit yeah. fucking crazy to me. So I have to believe myths from Bronze Age goat herders to be electable in, this, in the United States. It's, oh, it's you have so, to. You have but to. It's like, I think, I don't know. I think a lot of people probably are agnostic rather than atheist like they just you because you, no one actually knows anything like I, if somebody's like nobody knows um, I only we, say we know atheist. look we know it's not jesus christ we know that it, um, we know things like that but yeah, it's talk, like we talk 80 of americans i'm not sure they know that i yeah. i am agnostic but i say atheist to piss people off because that just yeah. angers people yeah. so much but like go oh, fuck off. what are you doing yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i look so there, if you really want to take them to the next level is you got to say I am God. So, <laughs> no, yes. be done, it. That, that's it. Know, and I am. I, I have done that. I have done that before, actually. And people didn't care for it. It was in a church. On no, they don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> it was at my uh, baptism. 
Everybody's very upset. Alec yeah, yeah, like Baldwin did it in that movie that time. And they're like, oh, you think you're God? I am God in that surgery room, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that and makes then, he, then, then, he, then he shot a, shot a guy. Yeah, shot a girl. Yeah, well, here's the thing. If, Rodney, if you go, I'm God, I go, well, at least you, I know you exist. I'm looking at you right here. I don't That's need, right. like, blind faith. I don't need, uh, right. you know, to believe in evidence that isn't there. I like, you, you're one up on God. Here's the other thing, too. So right. I looked at the numbers. Um, 4% of Americans identify as atheists. And you go, well, what is that in compared to other numbers? 1.2 are Mormon. So we're, we're beating the Mormons, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. There's only 40,000 Scientologists. So that is a very small number. 40,000? 40,000. 40, wow. <laughs> yeah, they're very tiny. Bowsers, Bowsers. And, and we we know we know like 10,000 of them. Yeah, we know. Yeah, a bunch I, of I was going to say, most are yeah. Tom Cruise's ex-wives. So right. that's like half. Yeah. And then, yeah. so 18% of people say they're non-spiritual. So those are the agnostics. So I think we got about between the 18 right. and the four. I mean, I'm sure the four is in there, but let's call 20% of Americans don't believe in anything, which is, you know, we're coming up. It's yeah. uh, definitely a lot different than the 50s. It's a That's lot different. They were telling the truth. Yeah. yeah. Can I just so, say, though, I don't yeah. want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I do have a favorite biblical verse. I don't know if you've seen this one. It's Ezekiel 2320. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Uh, there she lusted after her lovers whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emissions were like that of horses. This is a classic Bible verse. I think we can all get behind it. It's the good book, right? We should teach this to children. We got to get the Bible back in schools because of passages like this. And if you go, Eric, that's not. No, no. It's the New International Version, the New Living Translation, the English Standard, the, whatever that is, the King James. No, Robin, do you love this passage as much as I do? It's it's a gift from God. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You guys know, book. you guys know, man. I love reading books. I love reading <laughs> books, and the Bible was one of those books, man. I can't get enough of. I, I can't put it's it down. So I pick it up, and it's yeah, just, I know, it's, it's compelling. Let me ask and you a question. I, if it, and I understand it so well. I, I, it's just it makes the way so much sense. Oh, man, oh. David Ezekiel ran up to you and said that phrase to you. Would what would you do? You would call the police. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, exactly. A homeless guy comes up to you and quotes Ezekiel twenty three twenty, and you're like, ah, <laughs> please leave. Oh, Jesus. This is what I'm going to start writing people that send me uh, in mails. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I'm like, get this tattooed. Yeah, like, I, dude, how about if, some, if one of us says something to substance today, man? We could be like uh, Eric ten forty two ten twenty twenty three. Austin three sixteen is a great podcast. Yeah, all, all, all Austin was great. Austin was great. <laughs> Cuervo five twelve. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Cuervo, yeah. Bacardi one fifty one. Yeah, that's a good one. I love that one. Oh my god, that's a classic. But what that the hell is the guy writing verse. the Bible? Like who the emissions of uh, dunk or comparing the emissions? I don't fucking know. Mm. I the the whole idea, like even even if someone's even if someone's Christian. Yeah, how the do you, idea that they—the idea they could actually, the, the Bible, like something that was written by random people thousands yeah. of years ago now. Yeah, it's very strange. And just take that at its word, and just be like, "This is what it says." You're like, but then there's just other parts that say other things that are like counterdictive to that oh, thing, course. and just. I got into an argument with a pastor. We went out drinking one night and it was like five hours. And um, I go, you know, part of it too is that it's so heavily edited. You know, it's not edited, but if, okay, it's not edited. Here's six different versions with six different, like, okay, they might be slight, but it's the telephone game. If you tell one person one thing, tell it by the end, it's totally fucking misrepresented. Yeah. And that's exactly what you you get. Take Eddie, take Ezekiel 23, 21. I'm sure it's fucking, there's six right. different versions of that too. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's clearly been edited. And if God yeah. is all powerful, he just could have been like, all right, no editing this shit. This is what I said. No Stop. editing. No editing. No editing. And don't and don't make my son suffer for days. Yeah, just also. end it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Tough stuff. After this, um, I'm leaning towards being a Christian. So thank you, Robin, for bringing yeah. this up. Oh, well, one last point about this story. Um, the one thing I don't agree with uh, with Kate Cohen is she wants to like band together all the atheists and non-believers. The mm. one thing I like about being an atheist or a non-believer is that I'm independent and I don't have to like exercise stuff on Sunday to gather with a group of people. I just want to be yeah. like, oh, what would you? Yeah, but well, if you all got together on Sunday, what would you celebrate? Nothing. Well, that's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking. So there's this great book called Religion for Atheists. It's around here somewhere. 
Um, it, but part of it is he, the guy that wrote it, says it kind of sucks that atheists have no holidays. We have no songs we sing together. Like, I would like a Darwin tree to get Darwin presents, whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Like, I hear you. I like being independent, but it'd be nice to like hold hands eventually, and, like sing a sing a Led Zeppelin song together. You know, I don't know. You're very much like Elon. I'll tell you a quick story from the yeah. from his book really quickly. Uh, he Who's said good? that. Him and Larry Page got into an argument because Larry said he was a speciest. Oh, a speciest. I know you're wondering, what is that? I didn't know either. <laughs> yep. It means that Elon cares for the human species more than any other species. And mm. I said, that sounds like common sense to me. Yes. That, oh, yeah. I, I'm but, on my own uh, team. Larry Page yeah. said we have to love everyone, including aliens and AI. So, oh, yeah. No, I disagree. Equally, if, we, if we were all species, for example, we wouldn't kill each other in wars because we're all human. That's right. You can only justify right, yes. it when you go, well, they worship something different than me, so I have to kill them now. Because my god said it's cool, and he's god, so, uh, you know. Right. <laughs> anyway, right, you want right. to do some silly little videos now? I, you know, I, this is why I get up in the morning. <laughs> we, oh, we're going to blast. We only have 15 minutes, because we talked about oh Christianity. Oh, my god. All right, we're oh, going to yeah. start We're going to start batshit crazy. Ready? Let's go. All right. Um, Gary Busey's having a moment. Give you a cat letter. You're becoming oh, like a dog on Halloween. And they keep giving you a cat litter, you're becoming the wrong animal. <laughs> Anybody get that? You want to do it one more time? Sounds like a dog on Halloween. And they keep giving you a cat litter, you're becoming the wrong animal. <laughs> Can you translate that? That Something spoke about? to me. If you're, if you're given, do you know what he says? If you, Paul is if lost you, in thought. If you this fuck thing. a dog on Halloween and you're yes. given cat litter. You're yeah. becoming the wrong animal. That's a biblical verse. Now, That's is he, I thought he said if you're a dog. Oh, uh, is, is that what he oh, said? If you're a dog and you're fucking cat litter. Wait, if cat litter. He said if you're a dog and you ate cat litter. Uh, and you eat cat litter. This is like the Bible. I'm getting confused. Yeah, right. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Very, very difficult it's to uh, interpret. You just look like a dog on Halloween, and they keep giving you cat litter. You're becoming the wrong animal. <laughs> if you dress yeah, up I like think a dog on I think Halloween. I think oh. it was, I, maybe yeah. it's the way he talks. I, I heard fuck a dog. No, if no, you dress if you, like a go ahead, what dog is it? on Halloween. If you dress yeah. like a dog on Halloween and you keep getting cat litter, you're going as the wrong animal. Wow. That was deep. Thank you for that. that was deep. Mm -hmm. is that okay. supposed I, I, to be, I don't understand it. Don't is it like a trans? It. Maybe it's like a transgender, pro transgender. I think I think we need a, a a code breaker. We need a Native American code breaker, just like yesterday, to interpret whatever the fuck it was that he was saying. All right, here. There's no guy or white man to help us. <laughs> He's gonna brush his fucking teeth. But this is this is the way. <laughs> One of my favorite exchanges in the comment section on any Facebook group I've ever seen. So Steve's trying to sell dream catches, okay? Homemade dream catches in Malone, New York, on Facebook. Here we go. So Donna says, they are a joke. They're all the dream catches there I want. Steve says, I have 85 of them. Do you want them all? Donna said, I what couple there like the bear on? It with pink blue feather, two small dream catches there. Okay, time out. Steve says, I'll hold all four of those. How is Steve understanding what Donna is saying? How is he understanding what she's saying? There's more. Donna comes in. I'm going to try my best, okay? If you cannot tell me how much that bear would have blue feathers and the pink feathers, then I will just ask him how much is the bear with the blue feathers and the pink feathers dream catcher. You can tell me how much it is. I sprayed inside where how do you get out of for dream catchers? I'm not saying for dream catchers. I'm saying the bear for the bear with the blue feathers. Blue. In the pink feathers with the helicopter talent force dream catcher. That one and two small ones. Where the hell are you calling for dream catchers? I'm on one big one, one, two small ones. Where the F are you calling for the F and catches? The game catches. If you cannot tell me how much dream catches, I pray that. Steve says $10. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, fucking hell. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't That's know. One. What are you beginning wow. with that one? <laughs> I like how that guy that guy had to add his own punctuation because it was just one sentence without a comma anyway. He'd like have to take a breath every once in a while and like add a comma. In. It's craziness. I like oh. Steve goes ten dollars. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this this guy's back with another one. <laughs> yeah. He's funny. He's from Boston. Peter yeah, I was going to say, I wonder where he's from. Through <laughs> uh, some of these misspelled labels, please. 
Pot seven. I'm just going to ride this wave. Jalapenos chicken poopers? 100% anus beef. What is anus beef? You got problems with my butthole? Rachel Ray finds inspiration in cooking her family and dog. You and your bestie just got an apartment in Selfie? I could see this hanging up in the kitchen. Belst. Please pay your parking fee before existing. I pay, therefore I am. A wise man once said, there is just no winning in this life. I accept the feat. Oh. Students get first hand job experience. Oh, I remember mine. Her name was Megan. Tom Brady was winning a Super Bowl. Imagine that's your first handy. Brady's winning a Super Bowl in the background. Let's go. When I saw you, I was taking a bath. You what? I was taking a bath when I first saw you. Like I was stunned by your beauty. Do you mean taking a bath? Attention, this toilet's only for disabled, elderly, pregnant children. In today's day and age, there'll still be a friggin' line. <laughs> yeah, can I get a bagel with cheam creams? Yeah, with cheam creams. On the side? Housekeeping. I come clean for you, housekeeping. Come clean. Can we go through? All right. I knew you would love the Tom Brady one. Oh, fucking. Uh, the let's go. I love that stuff, man. I always uh, like those, like, those, like, misspelled headlines. You know. That's the best. Oh, uh, fucking like, jalapenos chicken poopers. <laughs> Eight for three dollars is very reasonable. That Woo. is a good deal. No, that's a great deal. That's a meal you enjoy twice. Jalapenos chicken poopers. <laughs> We're grown adults, and this is hilarious. Oh. You see what he's doing? <laughs> he's one more time. That looks good. He's you know he's really he's enjoying it. It's like eating a grape. Gonna make sure they're good. You can't possibly. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. It's yeah. No. You gotta make sure it's good. The thing too is like you could use a little <laughs> plastic spoon and take a little taste, but he uses yeah, the yeah, giant right. And and you're you're probably not even supposed to do that. You can. No, you can he brushed his that. teeth. He brushed his teeth. It's fine, guys. Settle down. Yeah. Sorry. It's oh. fine. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder why COVID spread. Oh, there you go. Where's uh, his mask? <laughs> Actually, he took his mask off and did it and put his mask back. Yeah, hey, sir, wear a mask when you drink, please. <laughs> a little fucking class. No, he did the chin. He put it under the yeah, chin. The his dirty mask that he, <laughs> two weeks hadn't been washed. Here we go. Uh, all right, Fine. this is this this one really hits home because I am, you know, generally speaking, pro uh, <laughs> pro no. You gotta admit though, it's funny. It's fucking funny, yeah. You just think that anyone can come to the U.S. Like absolutely. If you go to the go to New York, go to the Statue of Liberty. What's it say? All is welcome. <laughs> I don't think it says that, but dude, this is great because okay, I just happened to pick up um, three guys from Honduras. Well, they were at Home Depot. They're they're from Honduras and they have nowhere to go. So this just works out perfect. Look, um, Hector takes medication twice a day, and. <laughs> And right now they gotta use the bathroom. All three of them. Uh, <laughs> is it cool if they stay here? No. no hey, they don't Why not? What do you mean? I don't know them. Who are they? Hey, what we do, we do. Right, so they can't stay here then? It's cool if they come to the country, just not your house? No, bro. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Bro. Hey, hey, hypocrite. Bro. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Sorry, man. <laughs> okay. Hector takes medication twice a day. That was my favorite part. Oh my god! Three got his shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Statue of Liberty says all is welcome. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I think, think that's the Golden Corral. But oh yeah, you know, I, think... I, I digress. <laughs> Does the Statue of Liberty say that? I, I've actually I uh, probably I've never been there. I mean, close enough. I actually never been to the Statue of Liberty point. I live in New York. Yeah, I've never done the Freedom. Yeah, I, mean, I, I haven't don't found the time. Uh, yeah, never been to the Liberty Bell. You know, I've been to the Freedom Towers. No. Yeah, yeah people ask towers. me, they'll be like, "What are you doing in Boston?" I have no fucking idea. I don't know duck boats or some shit. Like, who I does go to cheers? Right, you go to yeah, you go to fake chairs. Exactly. <laughs> right. All right, here you we go. go. Where everybody doesn't know my name. <laughs> no, nobody does. It's a chain nobody restaurant. Nobody knows my name. Hey, Rod. 
<laughs> After a four day sesh, wife's changed the locks, moved a new man in. I take a swing for him. Turns out he's a white belt of karate. Curtains for me. Go outside. The mug's left his car boot open. So I scurry through it like a rat, piss on the driver's seat, and steal a half pack of frazzles from the glove box. They may have won the battle, but it looks like your boy just won the war. Stay toxic, everyone. <laughs> I love frazzles. I've never had them. <laughs> Hip, hypocrite. <laughs> oh, fuck. Holding up the frazzles at the end was the best part. <laughs> that guy's really funny. <laughs> Turns out he has a white belt. Curtains for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time I had, stay toxic is like the best. I got to say that at the end of everything. Stay toxic, man. That's, where, that's how we're going to end the show from now on. Okay, hold on. Oh fuck! <laughs> Stay toxic. <laughs> oh man, this was a wild time. This is 1992. Woo! Crazy. Oh man. Now with the song, let's all start dancing, baby. You know Good who that story. is? Stern. Stern. Whoa! Well, it's Art. Did it freeze no, for you? You might not know this, no, but the freeze, song yeah. actually is called Why Side, Why Side, Why Side. Oh, it's classic. It's yeah. really good. Oh, shit. I think I'm frozen. I can't say anything. You, you see me? Frozen. Yeah, oh, we no. can see yeah, you are frozen. Yeah, frozen. yeah I can hear you. Frozen. Oh, you can hear me? Well, yeah. I mean, this is problematic because I can't pull up the next video. So if we want to just discuss what we've seen here today, maybe that would be the best. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Corey Feldman is still singing, by the way. Um, Corey Feldman um, is an interesting fella. He, wasn't he? Uh, he was one of the Mac Michael Jackson victims. No, no, he wasn't a victim. Him and Michael. This Jackson has to friends, be but... one of my favorite exchanges in the oh, comment shit. section oh, on any lost. Facebook group I've ever seen. Lost, so Steve's that. trying to sell dream catches, okay? Homemade oh, dream no. catches in Malone, New York, on Facebook. Uh, Here no, we go. I can't do anything. So Donna says they are a joke. They're all the dream catches there. I want. Steve says I have eighty-five of them. Do you want them all? Um, Donna said I what couple there like the bear on it with pink blue feather. Two small dream catches there. Okay, time out. Steve says, I'll hold all four of those. How is Steve understand? What was this? What happened? I don't know. The whole thing crashed. What happened? Did it? So did it pull up the other guy? And, um, did, it, did it pull up the Dreamcatcher guy? It pulled up the Dreamcatcher guy. Yeah. Yeah, and then it just crashed on me. I don't know if, was, if the videos just overloaded the thing or what. Yeah, yeah. man. Probably. No, well, it's a it's the first time that's happened in almost a hundred shows. So what are you gonna do? Yeah, that's. Uh, I was wondering what the hell. Was there. And then all of a sudden, I just heard you guys on my phone again. Mm. Um, well. Oh well. I thought all in all it was a pretty entertaining show until that uh, fucking crash at the end. Yeah. Great reels. Oh, they were really funny. Oh, how's um, how's the business going? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I. Uh... Are you still on air? <laughs> Maybe. 
Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. 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 Maybe.